Hello. So I have some good news to share, and that is the fact that my wife just gave birth to our second child. And so that's something we're very happy about. And there is a bit of a story I want to share about that. And the story kind of involves my wife, but it even more so involves my younger brother. And it's weird, but it's kind of funny, and I want to share it. And here's why it involves my younger brother. My younger brother and I work for the same company. We work very similar shifts. Like right now, my shift is generally 3 p.m. to a little after midnight, five days a week. And his shift varies a little bit more than that. Like he'll work 2.30 to 9.30 or 11 o'clock or 12.30, something to that effect. But generally, we're both working evening hours. I've worked this shift for a few years now, and part of the lifestyle that I've adjusted to on working those hours is, let's say it's Monday. At 11 a.m., I'm waking up and I'm getting ready for work, getting ready for the day, maybe doing a few things around the house before I leave for work. So I'll go in at 3 p.m., get off a little after midnight, and arrive home around 1.30 a.m., and by the time I've, you know, had something to eat or got ready for bed, I'm in bed by about 3.30. And so my days are 11 a.m. to 3.30 a.m. Part of that lifestyle has led me to the belief that the phrase I use is, it's not tomorrow until I go to bed and wake up. So my Monday starts at 11 a.m., ends at 3.30 a.m. However, my younger brother and I have been in an argument for a couple of years, and his argument is, looks at watch, oh, it is 12.01 a.m. It is now Tuesday. So even though it's not quite that way in how I operate, he's arguing on the technicality. And we've been going back and forth for a while on this. Me saying, that's not how my day operates, and him going, if you look at a calendar, or if you look at a watch, it is now the next day. It is now Tuesday. And how does this lead into my wife and I having our second child? Well, part of my younger brother's primary arguments for his case is, if a baby is born at 12.01 a.m., it doesn't matter if you've been up for the last 16 hours operating on your Monday schedule, at 12.01 a.m., that baby's birth certificate is going to say that it was born on a Tuesday. And this is an argument that, you know, we've been going back and forth on, and I really don't want to lose it. So part of my fear is that my wife and I would be in the delivery room, and I'd be pacing back and forth, staring at my watch, looking at the clock, realizing that I know the baby is going to come any minute now. And it is currently 11.55 p.m. And out of nowhere, I blurt to my wife, Dear, I need you to do me a favor, a big one. And that favor is, I need you to either push this baby out in the next four minutes or hold it in for like another eight hours because I please do not want to lose this argument to my brother. Thankfully, our son was born at 9.20 a.m., and so I don't lose this argument for now. And I am relieved. And that's all. Bye.